Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Fatu and I post fashion related content. So if that's your thing, please consider subscribing to my channel. It will really mean a lot to me. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you have a favorite look from the style book, please don't forget to comment them down below. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with the video. On today's video, I'm going to be styling a simple mini skirt. My mini skirt has patterns and I know most mini skirts, not most mini skirts, I know that patterns are like a thing recently, especially prints. So yeah, and I know they can be a little bit tricky to style, but because I'm also someone that struggles with patterns and prints, I always opt for the ones with like the neutral colors. That way I get a lot of wear out of them instead of like going with the bold prints that I'll end up not having to wear them because most of my stuff don't match with it or maybe over consuming clothes because I want to have to match that thing only for it to go out of fashion after a few months. So yeah, I've said a mouthful so let's not waste any more time and get started with the styling portion of the video. I hope you enjoy it and if you, enjoy, if you do enjoy it please don't forget to leave a like. So yeah, let's move on to the styling portion. the first look so for the first look i am styling the shirt with a simple satin top the satin top gives it this contrasting effect which is great and i think it can go horribly wrong but it looks absolutely stunning when done right and i believe black and white are something that we've seen a thousand times so you can go wrong with black and white the shirt has a fancy material which is satin so it gives it that elegant look the skirt is also cute because it's got like a little bit of design of frills there and gives a little bit of caps so this look is very elegant but simple at the same time which is very rare but it's it's amazing i really love this first look with the accessories, I am wearing a simple pair of palm shoes. They had two-tone palms, so that we are still on the theme of contrasting effect. And for the bag, I am carrying a simple black bag, which you can carry crossbody. But for the purpose of this look, I'm using it as like a top handle, which looks great. This look, I think, is appropriate for a daytime event. You can wear it to brunch or a simple date during the day, and it looks very cute and very gilly, so I love it. The second look is giving dress vibes. I am pairing two patterns at them. I know they might look like they came together, but they are separate. The skirt, like I've already said, is polka dots and the top is doodle dots. So you guys already know this. Patterns are a little bit difficult to start. They're not really difficult, but they're a little bit tricky to start. But with black and white, you've got options because black and white are both neutrals and they work with pretty much every color. So you can get away with pairing it with the more complicated colors and because this is a polka dot skirt you can get away with like the crazy patterns any type of pattern i think is going to work because polka dots are a little bit more crisp a little bit a little bit more subtle than usual so you can get away with that for this look uh like i said i'm trying to make it look like it's a dress or like a two-piece uh, i'm pairing a similar top like i said this is a doodle top and for accessories i've decided to go with a little bit more colors i'm someone who's a little bit scared of colors so i tend to go for accessories that have colors because i do love colors it just doesn't work well when it's on like clothes so i tend to go for them when i accessorize for the shoes i'm wearing a simple pair of pink baby pink pumps and i'm carrying a simple lemon baguette bag uh i know colors are also tricky even with accessories i think this one works because they're both pastels so even though they're like bright colors it's not like super crazy it's not something that's not matching so it looks great this is something that's so girly it's something that i wear to brunch or like a birthday party something that's happening during the day because of the colors and the boldness i think it looks great during the day and it will photograph amazing in like a super cool background so yeah look i'm going for a very casual very laid back very simple look i am pairing the skirt with a simple 
bodysuit. It has a detail on the neckline and on the arm. It's sleeveless and I'm wearing a button down shirt, but I'm using it as a cover up. I normally tuck my shirts in, but because like I said, I'm going for the laid back slouch look. So I'm not going to do so in this case. For accessories, I am wearing a simple pair of sandals. They are flats. Like I said, this is a very casual look and I'm carrying a purple structured bag which matches the, the shoes. I think this purple is called the lilac. So this is the third look. It's very casual. It's something that I would wear to a picnic, except for the back maybe because it's a little bit too structured. But other than that, it's a very simple look. It's very girly. I like girly things. So yeah, I love this look. I think it's my favorite out of all the look. Don't forget to comment your favorite looks. For this look, instead of wearing a button down shirt on top, I am wearing a simple mustard blazer and I've switched the flats with a simple half high heels white sandal which match the bodysuit. It's a very simple effortless look. It's girly like every other look that I've ever created because I like the girly look. And for the back, I'm just carrying a simple rose gold bag and there's no reason why I'm carrying this bag. I'd probably opt for something else. I just didn't have the bag with me. So yeah, this is the more formal look. I think you can even wear it in the evening if you want to or during the day this works during the day and in the, in the evening because of the shoes and the color of the blazer so it's a bit more of like a versatile look you can wear it any time of day so yeah I love pink girly and I know for someone who says they are a girly girl I don't wear a lot of pink and that's because it doesn't look great on my body so yeah I haven't quite figured out a pink that works for me but I'm just going to try hot pink maybe it's gonna work but the thing with pinks is that they're very much seasonal so you can't just wear pink on any season I remember sometime in 2021 uh, baby pink was in and now hot pink is like the end thing so I'm afraid if I start wearing pink it's going to look very uh, last season or outdated so I don't want to do that so I'll just stick to the black and white what do you guys think anyway I just literally rambled about something that's not related to this video if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and if you have a favorite look don't forget to comment it down below i love you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye